Miss Vera, I'm afraid that there's still no sign of Mr. Warbucks or Miss Annie. Drake, look at these questionnaires. Do you realize that I've talked to 617 women who said to be Annie's mother and 619 men who claim to be her father? That makes 1,236. And they're all liars, Drake. I never realized there were so many dishonest people on the island of Manhattan. Some of them were from the Bronx Nest. <laughs> I'm sorry, Annie, but they were all fakes and liars, and you were after nothing but the $50,000. Are you certain? Yes, sir. None of them knew about the walk-in. Uh, I'm sorry. Gee, I was sure one of them would have been my mother and father. Mr. Orbox, this is Tom from the FBI. Good. Elliot Ness is located the manufacturer of Annie's Locket in Utica, New York. Oh boy! That sort of locket was manufactured between 1918 and 1924. Sort of locket? <laughs> yes. Over 90,000 were made in sold. 90,000? Annie, I'm, I'm afraid the gist of this is, is that Elliot Ness doesn't think that there's a chance in a million of chasing your parents through the locket. I'm sorry. That's okay. I mean, gee, you did the best you could. If you can't find them, nobody can. Anyway, I guess a kid can get, can get along without parents. I mean, you didn't turn out so bad. You've got everything. All the Nusenbergs hanging on the wall and everything. <laughs> uh, excuse us, sir. I think we'll check on the dinner menu now. And a Nusenberg is a car. <laughs> Babe Ruth was the right fielder for the New York Yankees. And there's something else that you should know. Something is known. 